A Franklin man is bringing his holiday light show back for families in his neighborhood to enjoy a labor of love. He started to help make the holidays brighter for others. Yeah, as a veteran, he says it also gave him a way to deal with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Our Randall Newsom stopped by to talk with him as he gets ready for this year's holiday season. Hey guys, I hope you're in the holiday spirit because here at the McClett residence, we definitely are. I'm here with Don McClett. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you doing, sir? Good, good, good. Okay, so this whole display, you've been doing this for how long exactly? Actually, this type here, this is my second year doing it. Wow, wow. You're going to stick out a little bit in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> I do that. Awesome. We get a lot of requests. We actually put a Halloween show up and uh, the kids came by and they really enjoyed it. Parents really liked it. They said they appreciate what we do for the children. Awesome. It's pretty much why we do it for us, for children. Awesome. What is it about uh, the holidays that inspires you to put this whole production on? Uh, just, I've been a musician most of my life, mm -hmm. and uh, I figured it, I like the lights, I like the way it looks. Uh, kids are going to like it too, so I figured why not try it out. Awesome. And then, of course, you, you got some of the family helping you put all this together. Yes, What's the is. most challenging part of doing all this? Uh, sometimes getting the help, because my 14-year-old, he's more into video games, and yep. he doesn't like to come out and play as much. <laughs> right. He don't like to play with my toys as much as he likes to play with his own. Yeah. And uh, my son here, he's from Virginia, he actually made the star out of uh, 3D himself on an actual printer. Wow. But the most challenging part is just grabbing everything and getting it together. Awesome. And some of this stuff we actually got given to us from last year. We asked for people if they were interested in anything they didn't want, they could give to us and we incorporate it in the show and that's pretty much what we did. Awesome. Now, what is the, the best moment for you uh, after it's all done and people get to check it out? What, what, what's the best moment for you? Just the compliments and the comments that we see and the children actually enjoying it. I, they sit out here listen to it in their car because it's got an actual fm station also mm -hmm. they can listen to it in their car without happening to get out in the cold and they just like it All you right. can hear them singing to some of the songs and everything awesome so for somebody who may not have seen what you have to offer here at the house uh what would you say to kind of bring them out and say you got to come check out what i got here well it definitely fits the social gathering part because yeah. you don't have to get out and touch anybody you don't mm -hmm. have to see anybody you sit in your vehicle you tune your radio station to the channel and you listen to the music awesome guys well it's, it's Don, almost like a concert, basically, by the time it's over with. Awesome, man. Okay, you know what? Well, we're going to check out this concert for ourselves and get a little closer and show you guys some of the details of this Holiday Lights display. Check that out at 430. I'll send it back to you, ladies. Man, you are talking my language. You know, yes. I absolutely love Christmas mm -hmm. lights. It's my... Do you language. do colored or do you like white lights or do you like like blue? It has to be a pink. theme. Okay. Just like him, yeah. you know, the holiday light show at the McCleck home lasts for just under an hour and it's synchronized with some of your favorite songs from Christmas and I know you love Christmas songs. Oh, I certainly do. And Don plans on having the light show ready to go the day after Thanksgiving. So from there, the show will go on every day until the day after Christmas. Hey, I enjoy. like it. I'm I know. Another person